Hi, this is Alex Smetcher from the Public Knowledge Project. Today, I'm going to give a short demonstration of basic ORCID integration with Open Journal Systems, which is a free, open source, scholarly journal publishing platform used to publish approximately 10,000 active journals worldwide in more than 30 languages. We have recently released OJS 3.0 after years of intensive development activity. This is a basic OJS 3 installation with some test content. One of the elements included in OJS 3 is ORCID integration. The journal manager can enable the ORCID plugin and configure it with their API key from the ORCID website. This has already been done in the installation you see here. Now I'll walk through the registration process for a new user. One of the first things you'll notice is the ORCID badge. Clicking this allows me to authenticate with the ORCID service. This confirms to OGS that my ORCID identifier has been verified and avoids common pitfalls like typos. It also pre-fills the registration form with certain details for my ORCID profile. I'll now complete the registration. The simple process of associating an ORCID identifier with a user account has deeper implications. As OGS is an open source application which is installed on thousands of servers worldwide, rather than managed by PKP as a service, each installation exists independent of the others. An OGS installation may host several journals, but if I look at the author list, I'll see two important limitations. This is an installation of Open Journal Systems, the older version 2, and we can see that in this case, on the author list page, two author accounts are likely identifying the same person and are not properly disambiguated. Second, this journal's website can only list the work the author has performed for that journal, or at best in the case of a publisher, perhaps several journals. With OGS3, rather than reinventing the wheel and writing an author list and brag page along the same lines I just demonstrated, we've decided to make better use of tools such as ORCID. When viewing a published article, you'll be able to link directly to the author's ORCID page, providing information on the author about their global set publications. If you're an OGS user, even if you're running the older OGS2 software, you'll likely be submitting your publications to Crossref. If you do so, and if your authors have entered their ORCID identifiers into the system, those publications will already be available to authors to approve and list in their ORCID profiles. If you have any questions or comments, you can always reach us at our support forum, forum.pkp.sfu.ca. Thanks for watching.